All right, folks. This is about a radiator shroud mounting hardware. Okay, the ones that go onto these holes over here that hold the shroud. Okay, this is a not an original one, but it is stamped with a Chrysler number. And these clips are from uh, RT Specialties. Now, if you look at the original ones that are on there, the nice little square ones, exactly like the ones RT sends you. See that? Beautiful, right? They go right in here, and they snap right in. If you notice, that's a they're little nice and snug, so when they snap in, they're going to stay there. If you notice, if you line it up, the hole is going to be perfect. Okay, and it comes with the screws. Now, if you buy a, here's the screws, that comes with the screws. All right, nice. Get the little markings on the head. Now, if you have an aftermarket radiator, like I have on my uh, 71 here, I'm gonna show you what the problem is. All right, a little dark in the garage in here. It's a little cloudy now. So I'm gonna show you what I have with this one here. Let me see if I mock up a little light here for you so you guys can see. All right, so here it is on my radiator. This radiator's bought in the 80s. So there's an old one. Okay, got no numbers on the radiator. But watch this. I'm gonna put the clip on. I'm gonna, I'm gonna reverse it. I'm gonna put it inside out. But watch, watch how easy it slides in. Like it'll be very loose in there, see it? That's number one. Number two, you're gonna notice that it doesn't line up. See where the hole is? So, the aftermarket radiators, that is not right. So you're gonna have to re-drill it. So you wanna make the, the hole too big, you might wanna make it oblong. Make the hole come out a little closer towards the fins. Okay. So the problem with that is you can do it on this side, passenger side. You can do the top one on the driver's side, but the bottom one you're gonna have a problem with only because my power steering line is in his way. So that means the shot has to come out, the fan has to come out, and all that stuff. Otherwise, you could run to the store and try to get a clip that's a little longer. So that's what I'm gonna do. Instead of going through all that trouble. See, all this only to get rid of my electric fan and to go back to factory. Oh well, things you learn, okay? Like I said, look at the original ones. Original style radiator, original style brace. It's nice and tight and it will line up perfectly. All right, don't remember if I record this one a long time ago, but either way, that's it. Check them out when you buy a repro uh, radiator. Make sure the holes are in line, okay? I'm gonna show you a picture between the two. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Ciao. All right, here's an update on that hardware for the radiator shroud. All right, so, I mean, a couple of things you could have done. You could have drilled a hole in the radiator to put the clip on. Right? But the only problem with that was, if you took a picture of the radiator, I'll show you to, to you. What happens is that even if you drill the hole, this clip might be still a little short because it might not reach the proper area where the shroud mounts to. So, plus you don't, you don't want to play with a drill bit into your radiator in case you miss. But, what to, uh, local stores do not have this, Lowe's, Home Depot. So I actually got it online. So online, I got these clips. It's a U-clip. This is the size right here. That's the thread. Number eight by 32 is the thread size. This is the U-style clip. That's the other side of it. Comes with a package of 25. So you can keep it for other things.
Anyway, it's the right thread size now. So instead of drilling holes into the radiator for the shroud, just pour a little bit. You see what the difference is? Look at that. So the bottom is pretty much even. You notice the hole moves up a little bit more. So it's good for the deep part. Same thing here. See, the holes line up, and the end of the clip will come down a little bit more. And this is what it will look like once it's screwed together. Okay, there's the proper clips for it with the uh, threaded nut. Otherwise, the other speed clips that they sell in the local stores are not the right ones. So get the ones with the right threads, and it's perfect. It's good to go. All right. So there you go. Instead of messing around with a drill, a Dremel, and all the other stuff. All right. Thanks for watching. There you go. Perfect clip. Falls exactly where that bracket is. All right. Ciao.